Hey, this is Michael. Today I would like to talk about creating a sacred space to improve your own intuition as well as your animal communication with your pets and with all animals. A sacred space is a really powerful place to really cultivate a calming, grounding energy that is going to remind you of your innermost self, your grounded self, your calm and peaceful, limitless energy that is always there and available to you. But in our world, we often get distracted by the comings and goings of stress and worry and doubt and second guessing and confusion. But having a sacred space to always come to, whether it's in your house or out in your garden, having this place, it's going to remind your energetic frequency of this calm centeredness. And so in doing, in connecting, in being in your sacred space, it elevates your vibration to this level where you're more in alignment with your intuition. You're able to hear your inner voice, connect into the subtleties all around you to really understand your world and yourself and your animals at a deeper level. This also amplifies your ability to tune into the subtleties that your pets are sharing with you energetically, intuitively, and telepathically. So creating a sacred space can be super easy. It could be a spot in your garden. It could maybe be a corner in your house that is all your own. And and you might want to put little, like maybe some photos of, of your present past animals, or it could even be um, some collars or leashes or paw prints of your animals or anything, any statue, anything that's going to really calm and ground you. It could be a Buddha statue, it could be flowers, lighting some incense to create some aromatherapy or even essential oils. Aromatherapy can be very powerful and also grounding, soothing, and easing us into this energy of our sacred space that's going to create peace and unity with our innermost self or and or also music having maybe wind chimes or a subtle uh, uh, vibration playing maybe it's a little sound bowl you have or actually playing some music in your sacred space to shift your brain to shift your energy into that frequency can assist in this and it, you don't have to overthink it it's just coming up with a few different elements to create this environment for you to really tune in tune out and ground into the present moment. So do you have a sacred space that you've created? If you do have one, maybe it's even adding some new elements to it, just up leveling it, maybe even some fresh flowers because the vibration of fresh cut flowers, a bouquet, even if you're outside bringing some new flowers to the space or new rocks or a new statue, something new to freshen it up can really amplify the vibration to new levels. And then in doing so, your animals are gonna feel your calm, grounded energy. It's easier to communicate and connect with them. And it's a way of providing peace for them as well. Having a sacred space that you invite them to join you in, although they don't have to, but if they do, the more the merrier. So if this is something that you want more information on, you can always email me or ask questions. And I cover this in my new book, Intuitive Animal Communication, that is will be in bookstores, maybe even by the time you're seeing this video very soon. And I'm always here to help until the next video. I hope you enjoy.